All right, what we have here is a position time graph, position in meters, time in seconds. On the y-axis, you have position from 0 to 13 meters. The optic starts at 5 meters. And so it travels from 5 meters to 13 meters from a time of 0 to 4 seconds. Remember that the slope represents its velocity. Then from 4 to 6 seconds, it stands still at 13 meters. And then from 6 seconds to 12 seconds, it moves from 13 meters back to 9 meters. So the question asks for its displacement, the displacement of the object from 0 to 6 seconds, 0 to 12 seconds, and then 0 to the distance from 0 to 12 seconds, that's part C. Part D, its average speed over the interval, uh, its average velocity is part E, and then we'll find the instantaneous velocities. So to find the displacement from 0 to 6 seconds, you pull the information off the graph. So delta x, whoopsies, delta x equals x minus x sub 0. So you have to just pull those pieces of information off this graph. x being its, its final position during this time interval. So what's its position at 6 seconds? At 6 seconds, it's at 13 meters. And then where was it at 0 seconds? So x minus x sub 0 for this interval. At x sub 0 for this interval is here. The initial position for that interval was 5 meters. Okay, so again, you pull the information off the graph. 6 seconds, go up here, that's 13 meters. 0 seconds, go here at 0 seconds, 5 meters. 13 minus 5, of course, is, what, 8 meters. What's the displacement from 0 to 12 seconds? 0 to 12 seconds. Again, pull the information off of off of the graph. Well, at 12 seconds, that's the final position for this interval, is 9 meters. And so 9 minus, well, the initial is 5, sec at five meters. And 9 minus 5, of course, is 4 meters. How about the total distance travel, d for distance? The total distance travel from 0 to 12 seconds. Distance is not the same as displacement. Remember, displacement just compares where it ended during the time interval to where it started. Like, for example, for over 12 seconds, it ended at 9 meters and started at 0. That's, um, no, no, sorry, it ended at, at 9 meters and started at 5. So that's a displacement of, uh, of 4 meters. But not a distance. The distance that travels, it travels from 5 to 13, which is 8 meters, then it stands still. And then it travels an additional 4 meters from 13 back to 9. It's how far did its little feet actually walk? How far did it go? It's a scalar quantity, not a, not, and there's no sign involved. So it went from 5 to, 5 to 13, that's 8 meters, and then it went an additional 4 meters. It walked a total distance of, uh, what, 12 meters. So that equals 8 plus... Four is uh, sorry, it's twelve meters. Okay, average speed for zero to twelve seconds. Well, average speed that is v. No, it's not. It's s. When we use in my honors class. We use an s bar. In AP, we don't use that. We just write out average speed. But average speed is total distance over the time interval. Remember, the bar means average. And so we've already calculated the distance is 12 meters over a time of 12 seconds. Well, that's convenient for the math. That's going to be 12 over 12 is 1 meter per second. That's its average speed. It never actually travels at that speed. It's just an average over the interval. The average velocity, that's v bar. And that is delta x all over delta t. That's the definition of average velocity. And for the 12 seconds, 
That's going to be 4 meters because delta x is 4 meters for the whole 12 second interval. So that's 4 divided by 12 seconds, which is 1 third or 0.3 meters per second. All right, the last part of this asks for the instantaneous velocity at each of these times. The instantaneous velocity is the slope of the graph uh, that the slope of the graph, uh, the slope of the line as it passes through that, that moment, that point. And so at three seconds, three seconds is around right here. And so if you go up to the graph right there and you ask yourself, what's the slope of the line? Again, let's say that three is about right there. All right, what's the slope of the line right here? Well, it's a straight line. And so you're finding the slope of that straight line. Well, the slope of that line, let me see, it rises, the slope of this line, just rise over run, it rises 8 in a time of 2. So it's a rise of 8 over 2, which is, uh, sorry, 8 over 4. Again, it's a rise of 8 over 4 seconds. So 8 over 4 is 2 meters per second. So the instantaneous velocity, the velocity at 3 seconds, is 8 over 4 is 2 meters per second. Well, how about at 5 seconds? 5 seconds is going to be right here. So go up to this graph right here, and what's the slope of the line that passes through that point at 5 seconds? So the slope of that line is 0, right? It's flat. It's a slope of 0. So the velocity at 5 seconds, that's how you write it. The velocity at that moment in time is 0 meters per second. Again, it comes off the graph looking at the slope of the line as it passes through that point. And then at 9 seconds, well, 9 seconds is going to be here somewhere. So what's the slope of that line? You need to just find the slope of the entire, entire line, taking your points off the graph. Well, that's a slope of, let me see, 13 to 9 is negative 4. So the rise, if you will, is going down. It's negative 4 over 6 seconds. Let's just put it over here. So the slope of that is negative 4 meters, right, because 13 to 9, that's negative 4, all over 6 to 12 is 6 seconds. So that's negative 2 thirds, or negative 0.67 meters per second. So let's write that over here. So the velocity at 9 seconds is negative 0.67 meters per second.